In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the LED 100B Mark III from Pixapro. The LED 100B Mark III is a chip on board by Colorlight with a lux rating of 11,000 at one meter and a CRI of 95 plus. The light is in direct competition with the 120D Mark II from Aperture and I think it offers quite a bit more for your money. The 100B Mark III is smaller than previous models. It's made out of aluminium and has two sets of LEDs to mix between 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin. It can be powered by an AC adapter or with a V-mount battery, and it lasts about an hour on full power with a 130 watt V-mount battery. The light is dimmable from 100% down to 10%, and it has four memory buttons which have pre-programmed color temperatures and brightness levels. This means that it's really useful if you don't want to have to cycle through every single color temperature or brightness level to find the one you are looking for. The two biggest benefits of this light is that it has a TLCI and a CRI of 95 plus and a near silent fan. It is a good deal quieter than the previous generation. And if you, you know, to be honest, if you haven't got a microphone right up against it, you're never going to hear the fan. For mounting, it has a Bowens mount and an umbrella yoke, so you can use a huge variety of soft boxes, beauty dishes, and other accessories, which makes this light just as versatile, if not more versatile, than the 120D from Aperture. Now, it's all well and good talking about the specs of a light and how well built it is, but unless you put it through its paces, you don't know how it will perform out in the field. My work is predominantly in corporate video production, and so for me, the 100B Mark III lends itself perfectly towards the interview setup. In this first example, this is my previous lighting setup for an interview using the Phoenix 1500S, which is also from Pixabro, with a softbox and grid as a key light, and a Leno 256B as a three-quarter backlight. Both of these lights are set to 5600 Kelvin. Something that has always bothered me about this setup, and it is only a small niggle, is that I've always wanted to have a slightly softer key light. Now, I could do this by adding a scrim in front of the key light, but this is just another stand and another piece of equipment to bring along and break down at the end of the shoot, pack away, and just it just takes up space. Now with the 100B Mark III, I can use a larger softbox with a double layer of diffusion to give me a much softer key, which is gonna work so much better for my needs when I'm interviewing people on the camera. The second example is using this light for capturing B-roll in an office environment. Offices traditionally have terrible lighting with a horrible green cast, and this is because they're using cheaper bulbs or cheaper lighting fixtures. What I want to do is mitigate the damage and shape the light so that the B-roll I'm capturing looks as good as I know it can be. For this setup, I'm using the 100B Mark III with an umbrella to give an even spread of light across the subject. It means that I can be easily mobile when I'm working in an office, which is usually quite small, and when using a V-mount battery, I'm not carting around either a large softbox or a power cable. I would traditionally use my Leno 256Bs in this instance, with again some diffusion paper, but with the 100B Mark III, I get the added benefit of an increase in power and color accuracy. The LED 100B Mark III from Pixapro is an incredibly good value light for the money. It's extremely color accurate, packs a punch, and works straight out of the box, no fuss. It would be great if this light came with the battery adapter instead of having to get that separately, but this adapter is very reasonably priced and very, very easy to get a hold of from the Pixapro website. 
Now, if you're somebody like me who was looking at the 120D from Aperture, you're going to want to think again because the 100B Mark III from Pixar Pro has it both matched and beaten in every single lighting scenario that I can think of. It's probably the best light I've ever used. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video.